nowadays uh, I'm working in trying to uh, use uh, bioengineering or uh, biomaterials uh, to see if we are able to recreate uh, processes that happen in nature, basically during embryogenesis and, and in any other areas in, in nature, like uh, a, a very common process that is self-organization. So we put cells in very soft tissues, uh, sorry, matrix to form tissues, very soft tissues, and what actually we are interested in is how those cells actually interact among themselves and form a beautiful networks. and as a consequence of the, of the interaction between the cells, the cells actually by itself will uh, start a process, a process that is called self-organization, and that's actually the process, fundamental process in biology because uh, when the cells do that, it, they can access to different level of organization. That's called emerging systems and only when emerging systems happen, when you have a, the real properties, the basic properties, biomechanical, biophysics, and biological processes, the system can go from a bunch of cells that doesn't have any more than some properties into a real tissue. Engineering is, is a future uh, because um, initially people started using tissue engineering for basic, basically to study bone and cartilage. Now tissue engineering is more than that. It's like not only to study uh, the generation of new tissues, but also to understand basic phenomena in, in cell biology and molecular biology and also in tissue development. Now, tissue engineering uh, is really, really expanding into many, many areas and diagnosis also on setting systems to, for instance, to study toxicology, pharmaceutical drug, and, and also in uh, implantation of different preset tissues into uh, defect uh, organs. And the expectations are amazing because we can actually know, we can see people working in the neural system for degenerative disease, uh, in, in bone replace as, as well as cartilage, but also in many, every single tissue can be actually considered as a tissue engineering uh, way to, to, to repair. I came to the University of Navarra because um, I, I was in, uh, in Termis, there was an international uh, European society uh, for tissue engineering in Granada and, and by talking to them uh, we realized that we have a lot of things in common uh, mainly in tissue engineering and in regenerative medicine, we have an expertise that is basically we can actually set up systems and we can study the evolution of those systems. But what actually we need is the expertise from these groups in uh, here to study the mechanics and how the biomechanics change because that can give you some idea of, of how the cells actually can sense these uh, um, features and turn into the expression of genes. So this is basically our, our main hypothesis now is how we can in a way, in a simple way, uh, create an environment where the, we can actually control some minor parameters and let the cells actually engage into this uh, next level of organization again. So this is um, basically what we do.